Quick Tick, Quick Tick coming to you from Saskatchewan here today with another episode of Cooking with Quick Tick. All right, so I've got this little conundrum on my hands here, my friends, is I'm supposed to be cooking with Quick Tick with beef in this episode. And I'm supposed to be showing you how we do different stages of this crop that I'm standing in of oats. But my ribs are a little bit broken and I got to get the sprayer out to do a little bit of fancy work with it. So what we're going to do here is we are going to do a Cooking with Quick Tick cooking with oats called I put her in the rhubarb on the way to Saskatoon. All right, now, hold on a minute. Before all of you get all buttered, start being like, ah, that title's clickbait. You didn't actually hit the ditch with your truck on the way to Saskatoon. Have you checked your sense of humor lately? Let me explain. Now we all know in Saskatchewan, putting her in the rhubarb means actually hitting the ditch with your truck. And we all know that Saskatoon is one of the two identifiable cities here in Saskatchewan, aside from its co-partner, the city that rhymes with fun. But... We also have two very delicious plants that grow in the wild here in Saskatchewan called Saskatoon berries and rhubarb. And if you combine them with a few more Saskatchewan ingredients and a couple of Canadian ingredients, you can have yourself one heck of a delicious dessert. Let's go. All right, first things first, we've got to go get us some Saskatoons and some rhubarb. Now, Saskatoons, you can find pretty much anywhere in Saskatchewan. You just got to know what you're looking for. See the little guys right there? See them? Huh. And if you forget a container, you just have to untuck your shirt and use it as like a bag to get back to Morty. And you got to come in and find some rhubarb at the neighbors. here before Bob and Dad catch me. Once you get Saskatoons and rhubarb, time to get cooking with Quick Dick. First things first, when you get home, you gotta crank up your smoker. Now, if your smoker's like Quick Dick's siding got blasted by a hailstorm, you just kinda gotta do it by feel, but... Ah, we'll get her started anyways, eh? Sounds about right. Now I'm cooking with applewood pellets because it just makes your dessert just a little bit sweeter. You get that nice apple flavor in it. Actually, these are only pellets that I had, so that's what I'm running with. Now take your rhubarb and knock the leaves off of those bastards. Now you can go throw these on a smudge for the cows because mosquitoes are still a real bastard out there. Give her a little wash, give her a little wash. She's looking for about three cups of this stuff. Three cups of chopped rhubarb. Okay, so we got three cups of chopped rhubarb and we got three cups of Saskatoons. Now, come on, you didn't think that Quick Dick right here actually had a shirt full of Saskatoons. I struck out pretty bad, but I know some Ukrainian ladies in the area that are smart and keep Saskatoons froze for a goofball like Quick Dick when he wants to make a cooking video. Thank you, ladies. All right, now we're gonna take a half a cup of Saskatchewan produced honey. We're gonna chuck in a teaspoon of vanilla extract, just a little shot of lime juice, uh, real nice there. Stir that up. And just mix all those bastards together. Get in there. That is a lot of Saskatchewan coming together in one little bowl here. Ooh, yeah. Okay, dry ingredients, you're gonna wanna get yourself a half cup of all-purpose flour and make sure people that it's made with 100% Canadian wheat right here in Canada. <laughs> and people always ask me if I like oats, and I'm like, yes, I like oats. I like one and a half cup of old-fashioned large flake oats. They're grown and processed right here in good old Saskatchewan. And a half a cup of brown sugar. Everyone's like, quick deck, how do you keep your sugar from going hard while you make sure it's Canadian refined sugar? Just roll the top on it nice and neat like that. Put it upside down in a coffee tin. I never have it go hard on me like that, I don't know. Save your jokes for another video. Or don't, I don't care. Teaspoon of cinnamon, a little bit extra because it likes cinnamon, you know, no big deal. Mix that bastard. Get all those clumps of sugar broke up in there. Don't mess around here. That's what you're looking for right there. That's what you want. Nice and smooth, no lumps. Okay, now pick what you want here. I use a stick and a half of butter, which is about, I don't know, three quarters of a cup of butter somewhere in there, because I like the crust to be extra crunchy. If you want to cut back on your butter a little bit, that's fine. This is how much I like to use, okay? Stick that in the microwave melter. What? 
Come on, ease up on me. Okay, while that's melting, let's get our cast iron skillet ready to go. Skillet, a little bit of butter in it. Just make sure that nothing's gonna stick to the bottom of this sucker. That's all you do here, right? Just throw butter all over your kitchen floor. It's no big deal. I'll clean it up later. All right, grease her up real nice so nothing's gonna stick to this thing, okay? Real nice. Ow, shit, shit, shit. Clean my microwave, you're saying? Get over yourself. Okay, this is the important part here where you take, this is what's gonna make your crust, your nice, crispy, sweet, crumbly crust, right? So you're gonna take your butter, and you pour it in there real nice. Okay, and now we're just gonna stir this, but we don't wanna overdo it. We just wanna clump this stuff up and have a whole bunch of sweet, clumpy lumps in here. That's what's gonna make this crust really good, all right? See how this is starting to come around here for us? Just keep stirring that in. Keep stirring it in, I'll keep spinning the screen and time-lapsing things till I get it to where I want here, all right? Get every last little bit off the edges there. And you want all that butter kind of to soak everything up in there, you know what I mean? That's what we're after. That's what we want right there. All right? Okay, take your skillet. Take your Saskatoon rhubarb honey mixture. In she goes. Oh yeah. Get every last little bit out of this bowl. Do not mess around here, folks. Don't waste any of this stuff. Okay, get her spread out nice and even. Okay, now get your topping. On she goes. Look how that's coming together, oh yeah. Now that is ready to hit the smoker. Smoker's at 400. Put the sucker up on the top rack here. 20 minutes. So, uh, do some dishes. Oh, look at her start to crisp up a little bit there. We're gonna give it a turn. We're gonna turn that smoker down a little bit there and give her another 10 minutes. Are you seeing that? See how it's bobbling there? Got that nice little crisp on the top. Off she comes. So then you just dish it up. Ooh. Your little Saskatchewan made ice cream on there. You gotta have it. It's so good. And then you eat it. But you share it with your friends, right? Pretty good, eh? Then you get your friends to help you with dishes. Good boy. That is not a single use plate. Can you some more? This is Quick Tick McTick signing off, reminding you you might be called a bit of a buffoon if you tell somebody you put it in the rhubarb on the way to Saskatoon. Isn't this a beautiful province? Catch you next time. Did you get diabetes from that? I did. There wasn't that much sugar in it. Better if you could wash the plates a little better next time, maybe put them away. Try that for a change, hey? Don't look at me like that. I, I get really tired of your condescending comments in this relationship. Look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> He just never gets my sense of humor. Hey, thanks for sticking along, folks. Uh, wish I had a better upload for you, but uh, ribs are still killing me a little bit. Uh, getting better, though. Uh, we're going to have some fun here uh, for next week's upload. We're going to be talking beef and emissions. It's going to be a fun one. Anyways, take care of yourselves out there. Catch you next week, folks.